welcome all, Papa G here. Today I present my Salisbury steak with mushroom and onion gravy. I had high expectations for this easy to make recipe, but the taste and texture far exceeded that. As a matter of fact, after tasting this, I couldn't help but think how good my mashed potato recipe would pair with this. But enough of me, let's get started. We'll begin by adding two pounds of 80-20 ground beef or chuck into a large mixing bowl. Shred half of a medium onion into the beef. We'll be using the other half of the onion for the gravy. Add some zero sugar ketchup, yellow mustard, salt, ground black pepper, some garlic powder, a little dried rosemary, about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one lightly beaten egg, and a little grated Parmesan cheese. Mix with your hands until everything is incorporated. After everything is fully combined, divide the beef into four equal sections. Form the steaks into a slight oval shape. It's important not to compact the steaks. You want them to be a bit airy and about an inch in thickness. Add two tablespoons of oil to a rim pan on medium-high heat. Place the steaks into the pan and let them sear for three minutes without moving them. After three minutes, flip to sear the other side for three minutes as well. You'll need to use a sturdy spatula as they tend to be a little sticky to the pan. Remove the steaks to a plate. Drain the grease from the pan, but be sure not to lose any bits of meat that's in there. Add four tablespoons of unsalted butter, the other half of the onion we roughly chopped, and four to eight ounces of sliced mushrooms. I'm using pre-sliced baby bella mushrooms, but use your favorite. Add a little salt and saute until the onions soften and the mushrooms have absorbed the butter. Using pre-sliced mushrooms, you can't really control the size of the slices. If some of the slices are big like mine, once they've softened a bit, just use your spatula or spoon to make them smaller. Add one and a half cups of beef stock and a little onion powder. Use a spoon or spatula and gently scrape along the bottom of the pan as we stir. Those brown bits of goodness should come off easy and add a ton of flavor to the dish. Reduce the heat to medium low and return the steaks to the pan. Be sure to add any juices to the pan as well. Cover this and cook for 30 minutes. About two minutes before our steaks are done, we'll make a slurry by adding a half a cup of beef stock to a bowl or measuring cup and a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum. Whisk vigorously until combined. After 30 minutes, remove the lid and baste the steaks a couple of times with the thin gravy. Increase the heat back to medium-high and add the slurry mix. Continue to cook, baste, and stir for about three to five minutes until the gravy thickens nicely. Plate, and don't forget to add the gravy over the top, and enjoy. There you have it folks, my Salisbury steak with mushroom and onion gravy, a delicious comfort food meal. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.